we're up to work example four in algebraic uh, expressions. Um, now, I just wanted to go over something very, very quickly before we go on to it. Uh, we have done this in class, but I just wanted to make sure that uh, you remembered it so that we could uh, continue on. Index law number one. No, that's not a pen. That is index law one. Okay, it's a fairly straightforward one. A to the x, so a to the power of x times a to the power of y is equal to a to the power of x plus y. Okay, that's the law. Okay, that's index law one. Now, I will have given you, or if I haven't, I should, and remind me, please, uh, a sheet on all the index laws, a um, little poster type thingy. Uh, makes your life easier. That's my life. That's my job. Okay, so this is index law number one. a to the power of x times a to the power of y equals a to the power of x plus y. I'm going to give you an example with numbers um, just so that you can see it, and then I'll give you one with a prime numeral. Uh, and then we'll move on to the actual uh, example itself. Okay, so if we had, say, 2 to the power of 3, okay, and I'll just space it out a bit, 2 to the power of 2. Okay, now, according to this law, that means the answer is going to be 2 to the power of 5. Okay, now, I'm saying that that's true. You don't necessarily believe me, but let's have a look at it. Let's have a look. Let's put this into... Expanded notation. 2 times 2 times 2. That's the expanded notation of 2 to the power of 3. We all agree with that. Our multiplication symbol is still there. And then 2 times 2. Okay. Now, if we have a look at this one. 2 times 2 times 2 times... <sighs> tiring. Okay. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. If you look at that and think back to the questions that we've just done, we have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2's. Hey, that does work. Okay, so that shows that it works. Now, just for extra confirmation, let's have a look at that. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. We've still got the multiplying in there. Now, that would give you 32. Let's have a look over here. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times 2 is 16. Times 2 is 32. So yes, it does work. Hooray! The index law is real. Okay, so that's how it works. So let's go up to the actual example we've got. It says simplify each of the following. Now, if you're not sure, if you still get a little freaked out by it, don't stress, write these in expanded form first. Okay, don't think that you can't. So we've got t to the power of 5. Let's write that in expanded form. t times t times t times t times t. Then you got the multiplying, and then you got t to the power of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. How many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. t to the power of 9. And if you actually did it as this one, if we did it this way, t to the power of 5 plus which is using the index law, okay, then you actually get t to the power of 9. Okay? So, I have no problem with you doing it this way, getting used to it, getting the hang of it, understanding it, but eventually I want you to get to that way. It's going to make your life a lot easier and there's going to be questions where you're doing t to the power of 25 and I don't want you writing 25 of them. Okay? Make sense? Alright. Next one we have coefficients, we have indices, and we have pronumerals. We have two different pronumerals and we have a coefficient as well. Now, when you do this, if you wrote this in expanded form, you'd have 12 times A times A times B times 4 times A five times, but I'm lazy, so I'm not going to write it, times B three times, but I'm lazy, so I'm not going to write it. Okay, you could write that out in expanded form, but once again, this starts to get a bit painful. What you've got to remember is if you've got 12 times A times A times B times 4 times A times 5, all that, you can collect like terms again. Okay, so having a look at that, you've got two numbers, 
that are just constants, they're just numbers, coefficients, so you can multiply them together. 412s are 48. Then we've got the a's. Now we've got a to the power of 2 and a to the power of 5. We add the indices, that's the index law, which is a to the power of 7. Actually, what I'm going to do is, because I'm a nice guy, I'm going to rub that out, and I'm going to go 2 plus 5. Okay, then the next one we've got there is the B's. We've got one of them there, and we've got three of them there. So that's B, 1 plus 3. Okay, so if it doesn't have an indice, you assume it's 1, because we're just lazy, we don't write it. Okay, now you can add those up, and you've got 48, A7, B4. Cool. And that is all there is to it on those ones. And that's the end of worked example four.